Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you back to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Build and Battle Kit openings. Um, so, in this little mini-series, I have already shown you what you get in the decks, what you could possibly use to modify the decks, and by the end of the day, you walk away with um, prize packs, depending on the store, um, at my locals that I went to, you get two packs per kit. So I have six packs in total, um, two for each of the for each participant. So I'm just going to open these all in one go instead of saying this is for X person, because these are all at random um, from a sealed booster box. Now apparently, I have been informed that these are kits with a higher odds of getting a pool, which is rather interesting to think of. So I most likely will get something good in here. Okay, we're gonna start off with a basic Lightning Energy, Drifloon, Sprigatito, Flittle, Surviper, Tatsugiri, Jacques, Florigato, we've got a Capsicid, a beautiful looking Squovert, and a Pormot. Now, I am personally going to be trying to get all illustration cards. Um, it is much simpler simply getting um, illustration cards rather than searching for a gallery or alternate arts. Um, I need to find out the exact pull ratios, but that would be rather interesting to see how it actually runs. We have a Water Energy, Chansey, Rare Candy, Fido, Dedene, right. Flamigo, Fortress, Rocky Helmet, Squawkabilly, Hall Lucha. Now this is the alternate, um, the regular printing to the, um, the kit promo, which does have a alternate artwork and the stamp on it. And then we got a Cyclozar. Now I have actually seen in this little mini series um, more variety in cards. Obviously, in an actual event, people are going to sometimes choose similar strategies, um, simply because their card pools are not worth switching up that much. But good to see something new. Um, so let's see if we can get anything else new. Got a fire energy, Fue Coco. A Drowsy, Nimona, Flabebe, Muck, Flogis, really interesting. We've got a Greedent, Clorza, Arbeliva, and another. Oh, yeah, um, there's another Holucha. Um, it's a bit surprised for a second. Um, now, one thing, I feel like out of all the packs that I've opened so far, at least, um, I haven't seen a crocolore. Um, so, in theory, I won't be able to play any of the Skeledurges or um, Fuecocos that I've pulled. Um, let's see. I've got a Lightning Energy, Riolu, Magneton, Clorza, Grievart, Youngster, Blissey, Jacques, I've got a Tarantula, Energy Search, and an Oink Lone EX. That lovely star foil. I think that's the best way to describe it, is the, um, the star foil ends. I don't know if I like the star, star foils. Um, the reverse ho simple reverse hollows, or the just plain r rares now. And interestingly, um, based on the order of what which the um, packs would have been, one person would have got the Squover and another person would have got the Oink Lone. So maybe in these last two packs, the third person, in theory, could have gotten something rather interesting. 
Anyway, we've got a Fire Energy, Floet, Pormy, Smolov, Wiglet, Toxtricity, Mousehold. There is a Crocolore finally. And actually, not too bad. I might. I am seriously tempted to play a um, Skeledoge. We've got a Reverse Professor's Research, Arvin, and a Mouscarada. Okay, so this is the final pack. Hopefully, there is something in here that the third person, in theory, would have been able to walk away with. We've got a Steel Energy, Mankey, Squawkabilly, Capsicid, Alola Mola, Toad Squirrel, Cyclozar, Vitality Band, Energy Switch. Ooh, that is a nice looking Sand Isle. And the final card is the Maridon. Um, really interesting with that Lightning Laser 90 to the active and then 30 damage to the bench. Um, really good, but I do really like this Sand Isle. So that is actually really good. Um, so three cards in total. Um, in theory, these would have gone to three separate people. Um, if they were handed out in the two, some events may have given out three or four, depending on the turnout. But got that lovely Oinklone, the Squovert, and the Sandile. So that is going to be it for the um, build and battle kits. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little um, early access dive into the sets. Um, this is getting recorded the week of release for Scarlet and Violet. I am hopefully going to have the first video, which will most likely be the Elite Trainer Boxes, out by um, the 1st of April. So hopefully I'll get it by then. You will obviously see... Um, when the video does go live so hopefully you do check out my case break um because i will be doing that for at least the scarlet and violet base set it may change going into the future um, just based on pricing of the new cards um, but hopefully you enjoyed hopefully i'll get to see you again next time but until then have a good one, folks.